지금 어딜 보는 겐가? 어, 천암! 천암! Hi and welcome back. The Joseon Dynasty is a period of time in Korean history that lasted from 1392 to 1897. It was an era of great social change and artistic development. These films offer viewers a look into a fascinating period of Korean history and culture, depicting everything from court politics to everyday life. From sweeping historical epics to romantic dramas, here are some of the best Korean Joseon Dynasty movies of all time. Number 10. The Grand Heist Toward the end of the Joseon Dynasty, the last years of King Yeongjo's reign contained an excessive amount of ice. Ice was among the most valuable resources, with great blocks of it harvested from frozen riverbeds during wintertime and stored in royal chambers. When corrupt authorities conspire to form a monopoly and raise its price, a group of 11 professionals is formed to put an end to the scheme and accomplish this task that must be accomplished by pouring all of the royal ice blocks into five storage rooms. The Grand Heist has a 6.2 rating in IMDb. Number 9. War of the Arrows. Nam Yae and Jae and are chased by King Injo's guards and saved by their father Choi Pyong Ryong, an officer of King Gwang Hae and a competent archer. He sends his own children to find a place of refuge with his best friend Kim Mu Sion. As they escape crying, Jae and begs her brother to go back to their father, however, their father is dead in front of Nam Yi. Nam Yi, though bitten by the guard dogs, kills them and escapes with Jae In. Nam Yi is the only family member Jae In has. Thirteen years later, Nam Yu is skilled at archery and hunting and learns from Ma Seon's son, Seo Gon, and Jae In plan to wed. During the wedding, Nam Yi is up in the mountains hunting deer. Nam Yi hears the rumblings of possibly predictable oncoming forces. When Nam Yi returns to the village, he finds his stepfather killed and his sister missing. Nam Yi then sets out to seek out the king army and eliminate their army with his bow. War of the Arrows has a 7.1 rating in AMDB. Number 8. The King and the Clown The 16th century Joseon dynasty was the high point of a one-night stand between rural actors Yang Seong and Gong Gil. They successfully teamed up with a struggling theatrical troupe in Seoul. Their raunchy sketch poked fun at the famously hedonistic king, and his protective subjects became alienated by their broad parody. As soon as they are apprehended, they get a chance to find a way to avoid punishment if they can create the king laugh. Everybody is more surprised than pleased by the delighted king's stage names, which entitle them to more extravagant shelter and free food than they ever could have imagined. However, the king's attentiveness to Gong Gil hints at not just one fact, but his attention to humor as well. The king's mistress, the country's ministers, and Jang Sang all grow suspicious, and envy and anger spring from all sides. The King and the Clown has a 7.3 rating in IMDb and a 88% in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Number 7. The Pirates. The Last Royal Treasure. Join in the adventures of a band of rich and motley but vivacious pirates as they pillage the deep blue sea for sunken treasure that belongs to nobility. Former leader Wu Mu Chi and his right-hand man Kang Siob enjoy life aboard a vessel. Captain Ha Rang and her jam-packed crew junket to claim the booty only to set some unwelcomed competitions from Bu Hong Su. The Pirates. The last royal treasure has a 6.1 rating in IMDb and a 61% in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Number 6. The Royal Tailor. During the Joseon Dynasty reflects the loves, jealousies, and desires of professionals working in the Sangwiwan dressmaking district. The Sangwiwan are responsible for royal clothing. The great famous Seok Dole sues all the clothing that the king wears. He views proper etiquette as the primary constituent of his job. 
Kong Jin is an incomparably talented designer, precocious in skills and sense. He was brought to the palace of the king and queen by nobleman Pan Su, who saw his incredible talent. The king and queen then got embroiled in a critical situation as a result of inventive clothing designed by Kong Jin and Dol Seo. The Royal Tailor has a 7.0 rating in IMDb and 86% uh, in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Number 5. The Swordsman. Set during the period of Ming Qing Dynasty transition, the Yule, the best swordsman in Joseon, lives in seclusion with his daughter, Tao Kei, in the mountains after failing to protect and save the reign of Gwanghaegon of Joseon. As the Yule's eyesight begins to weaken after years of injury, he dies. Tao Kei has been caught by the slave trader Guru Tai and she needs to be rescued. The Yule will need to defend himself again if she is captured. The swordsman has a 6.8 rating in IMDb. Number 4. Sion Dao. The Man Who Sells the River. A movie from this satire concerning Kim Sion Dao who alleged the river Daedong, the gal is really talented. Together with Bo Wan, female Buddhist Yan and Gion, Kim Sion Dao acts as chief orchestrator. The gang is authorized to incite nationwide scandal. They decide to steal tobacco. That's the most expensive purchased. Their plan includes deceiving the most powerful man Sung Dae Ryan, Sion Dao. The man who sells the river has a 6.6 .6 rating in IMDb and a 62% in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Number 3. The Throne In the year 1762, when the king of Joseon dynasty Sado has been ruling for 35 years already, Crown Prince Sado is accused of plotting treason by her biological mother Ye. King Young Jo struggles with the decision he has to make to save his own son, especially with the fact that if he chooses his own son as a traitor it means he will become the treasonous king. Say, Du becomes accused of treason by King Young Jo's generals. King Yang Zhou decides to put Sado's life at stake in order to implement his initial course of action. The throne has a 7.1 rating in IMDb and a 77% in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Number 2. Masquerade. While under threat, King Guang Have instructs Hyo Kyun to find a double in his place. He subsequently hires a peasant impersonator named Haseon who has a remarkable resemblance to the king. Faced with a severe challenge, Ha Seon reluctantly assumes the throne in order to ensure the survival of his kingdom. He must stand firm against assassination, stop decaying his kingdom, and pull off the greatest masquerade of all time. Masquerade has a 7.8 rating in IMDb. If you want to watch series like Alchemy of Souls, Revenge of Others, or The First Responders, but they are not available in your country due to geographical restrictions, you are in luck. NordVPN can help you with this problem. Right now, NordVPN is offering a mega discount plus four free months with the exclusive link that is in the description. If you want to access thousands of series from all over the world on your favorite streaming platforms like Netflix, Prime Video, or Hulu, NordVPN is the perfect solution and you will surely be satisfied. And if you are not, they offer you 30 days to make a return and you will get all your money back. Now, let's get back to the video. Number 1. The Admiral. Roaring Currents. In 1597, Moments before imminent ruin by the Japanese, disgraced Admiral Yasunshin is summoned to lead the military of Joseon Dynasty's 12 remaining ships and a group of uncommitted soldiers against the Empire of Japan's 330 strong fleets. The Admiral, Roaring Currents has a 7.1 rating in IMDb and a 79% in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Do you like this video?
Check others' videos here and subscribe to be notified about our most recent videos. See you next time. Goodbye.